Hey YouTube, it's Moto Matt Man. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I've been seeing lots of things posted on Facebook and Instagram. People asking questions about how to do dual vlogs, multiple, angle, multiple camera angles, and things like that. And I've gone over the way that I do dual vlogs uh, in the past. But unfortunately it requires you to have a GoPro Hero 3 or 4. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to first show you how I do the multiple setup to start doing the multiple camera angles. I've got to run to the post office real quick. Um, and then later on in this video I'm going to go through how you can do the dual vlogs doing the same thing that I do for my um, multiple camera angles and hopefully I can actually show you um, as I edit a video um, how how you would set everything up to be able to do the dual vlog not using the uh, Senna GP10 uh, GoPro backpack but using any two cameras now that's provided that um, both helmets are mic'd up obviously but I'll show you how I do it okay so let's let's get this all started. Let me get my jacket on here. I have a hoodie on today. It's a little bit chilly today. Let's get all our gear on, and then I'll show you how I do this. Ugh. Sleeves a little bit tight there. Ugh. Get my hoodie out. Yeah, temperature's starting to drop. I'm going to say the, the high temperature for today, it's, it's, it's morning here, um, it was before noon, so temperature hadn't really come up yet. It uh, would be helpful to put our phone away first. Huh. There's the pocket. I gotta hate that, I can't find a pocket. Get our key. Smoky thing, oh, my remote control for my GoPro is in my pocket. I didn't even realize it. Okay, so if you're doing a multiple camera angle thing, the easiest way to do it is get both cameras on. And here I'm using my GoPro 4, Hero 4 Black on my, on my helmet. And a Hero Session, just a standard session on the bars. So all you'd have to do is just make sure you've got both cameras facing each other and then clap. Now I've seen a lot of people talk about uh, looking at the, the software and finding the, the spike on the audio. I prefer to do it by the video. It, it, it just seems easier for me to line up where my hands come together like that. Okay. Let's start up the sporty and let's hit the road. Okay, and off we go. Now, this process that, that I use is, is really easy. And like I said, I'll show you on, um, hopefully, point the camera at my at my computer screen and hopefully it'll pick it up good and I will show you how I line everything up to do what I'm going to do is use an old uh, raw footage from a dual vlog that Mrs. Moto Matman and I made and I'll show you how how I line that all up mirrors a little bit out of whack Woo, buddy it's chilly only about 42 degrees right now. Like I said, temperature hadn't come up, and on top of that, you can see the leaves blowing across the road that back there. Um, it's, there's a little bit of wind, <laughs> which there always is where I live. I mean, I live up on top of the hill, um, and there's not a whole lot to block the wind. But anyway, Gotta get prepared for the cold days, cause they are coming. But like I said, I've had a lot of people 
asking about it. And a lot of people are talking about all kinds of funky ways that, that you could do it to line everything up. Um, the way the way I'm going to show you, you could do a dual vlog or three people, four people, whatever, is as long as you get. the cameras synced up which isn't really difficult and I will show you that later on in a video okay I get my neutral light to work at some point doubt there's anything here at the post office but we're gonna take a look anyway huh. A lot of junk is what it looks like. A lot of junk. A lot of junk. Okie dokie. Let's see. Junk. 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 A lot of junk mail. And where'd the trash can go? Lost the trash can. There used to be a trash can here for the junk. I don't know what the hell happened. This lobby is not a trash can. I understand. Don't leave trash or unwanted mail in a lobby. Awesome. Hey, how about a damn trash can? Jesus Christ. Well, there's a trash can across the street. So I walk over here and throw it away. You know, if you don't want people leaving the trash in the lobby, smart thing to do would be to have a trash receptacle for the people to put the trash in. Okay. Off we go. Like I said, just a little short ride here to get this video started. Okay, we'll head back to the house and then I will try to set it up so I can show y'all how I line everything up to in the editing software to create the dual vlogs. It's also supposed to rain today, so I wanted to get out at least for a little spin. I mean, it's supposed to rain like any moment. When I left the house, the radar right next to us was green everywhere. Uh, well, everywhere that it wasn't yellow. As you can see it's pretty daggone overcast. Um, my youngest daughter's softball coach has already made the decision before the first raindrop to move their practice to the indoor facility <laughs> to, to practice today. I wish he'd have moved the time. We got practice at 3 30. So it's like in the middle of all the football games. <laughs> but anyway, we'll get back to the house and see if I can't show you how to line it all up to create a dual vlog without using the Cine GP10, which I will tell you this, if you have a Hero 3 or 4 and you want to do dual vlogs, without a doubt that is the absolute, positively easiest, best way to do it. Because if you have any kind of communicators on your helmets for the two people that are riding that you're wanting to create the dual vlog with, um, it makes it a piece of cake. It, it, it really does. Because the, the GP10 captures the audio from the Senna's from, from both helmets. So there's, there's no need to and try to line up the audio or worrying about any of that but anyway i will catch back up with you in front of the computer
Okay, everybody, gonna try this again. Did this once and then realized that the GoPro was on picture, on cam regular camera, not on video. Okay, but anyway, what I'm gonna do is I showed you how I clap in front of the, the two cameras to be able to sync them up. But what I'm gonna do is instead of doing that, using that footage and syncing that up, I have a couple of videos from uh, clips from uh, dual vlog that Mrs. Moto Matman and I made. And this, uh, slide this over here. This is from my helmet. And I'm gonna take that, I'm trying to figure out how to get my hands around here, be able to get to everything. I want you to be able to see, but I need to be able to maneuver the mouse pad. Anyway, we're gonna take that, and we're gonna pull that down to this line here. And yes, I want to set my project video settings to match this media. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to slide the scrubber over here and get rid of the audio. Okay, we don't have the audio. Well, I don't wanna to have to compete against the audio. And the reason I put it on this line here, where it is here, is because this is gonna be the main view. It's the view from my helmet cam. I'm gonna put Mrs. Moto Matman's helmet cam up here on this line, and then I'll minimize it because it'll play over top of mine. So now what we need to do is we need to slide over, move, move the scrubber when I move my, move my hand. Okay, let's get this at the very beginning. We'll come up here, we're going to play it. And as soon as I, you see my hands clap in front of it, I'm gonna pause, boom. And right there, I'm gonna pause. Now I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna hit S. I'm gonna move this whole thing out of my way because I don't want it anywhere near me right now. And now I'm going to expand this so that I makes it easier for me to delete it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the video from Mrs. Moto Matman's camera and I'm going to drop it down here. And I want to still see my project media. And I'm going to bring this over here. Okay, first thing I got to do is I've got to come here and get her audio down and out of my way. Okay, because I don't want it on the same line. Click on here, go back up and pull her video up. Okay, so now her video's up. I'm gonna go over to here. And this has already been minimized. I don't want that to be the case. I'm a, it's from when I was working on it before. So let's make this full screen again. Okay. Now I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna look for my hands clapping in front of it. Yeah, you're blinking, and boom. Okay, and now I'm gonna hit S, get this out of the way, expand this, get rid of that down there, slide this all the way to the end, slide this all, slide this all the way to the end, and again, I want to get rid. Want to mute everything, so I'm not competing. I forgot to do that for that one. Okay, now everything is lined up. So what I should be able to do is come up to here and minimize this. Slide it up here in the corner. Click the X. And now everything should line up. So we'll take a look here. See hands together, hands together. Okay, so everything's synced up. Now what I normally do is I come back over here and I find, because I'm not going to start it sitting in a garage, now I'll come down here to a point like this. Nope. A little bit too far. What are you doing? I'm gonna find a starting point here. Let's find like 
I normally do when I'm like pulling out of the drive when we're pulling out of the driveway because nobody wants to see us a video of us sitting at the end of the driveway waiting for traffic to go. So as soon as she goes, come on, pull out. She got to wait till there's nobody coming from Texas before she pulls out. Okay, now what I'm going to do is now I'm going to cut it here, and then I'm going to come down over here, and do the same thing right there, cut it there. I'm going to get rid of all of this mess here. Boom. Get rid of all of this mess here. Boom. Which is going to require me to do the same thing I did before with minimizing everything because see there she is big and I pulled me over come on get over there all right and here's what the deal is the screen on the top this top line here will play over top of this bottom line so if I don't minimize her camera view all you would see was from hers and if you've seen any of my dual vlogs, you know, to, you know that most of the time what I do is I leave one camera up there in the corner. Now, you don't have to, okay? I'm going to go and run it just a little ways and find a good stopping point here. Let's get a little bit of volume going here. What's going on here? He's spitting and sputtering here, the whole thing. I don't know why it's doing this. signals and shit are. Okay, we'll cut it there. And we'll stop the whole thing there. And we'll just make it that long. So it'll be 21 seconds long. And I'm going to add it to the this video that we're recording here. So let's get rid of this. And we'll get rid of this. Okay, and we could leave it like this. Okay, with, with her view up here and, and mine down there. But if you don't want to do that, you have another option. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to eliminate this little piece here of hers. And normally I'd be more selective, but just, just for the purposes of showing you how I would do it, I'm not going to be real selective because we're just going to make a transition. So now we're going to come to here. We'll cut it right about there. And I'll eliminate this part here. And now what we're going to do is go back and click on this little box. Oops, wrong play. Let's get to a view first. Oh, well, looks like he's going to do it for me. Okay. Now, if you watch this video that we've got now, what you will see is right now you're seeing my view. See the See Mrs. Moto Matman off right here. You can see the gray tank on my sporty. And now we'll play. And now you're going to see her view. Now you've got her view. It's spitting and sputtering, but you can see the red tank there. And then now you're going to have transition back to my view. And now you can see the gray tank, and you can see her off in the distance. And that's all there is to it. And what I'll do is I'll, so you can see how it turned out because it's obviously on this little bitty screen here. 
I'll add this in to the video right after right after I stop this. I'll put it at the end so you can see that 21 a little bit 21 and a quarter seconds or whatever it is. You'll be able to see that. So I'm going to stop this here. I'll render this so I can add it to the video, to this part of the video. And then I'll catch back up with you in just a minute. Okay, all right. Uh, I, I hope this has been helpful. I wanted to mention one other thing, and that's that uh, I'm using an older version of uh, Vegas or Sony Vegas for my editing software. I'm sure you can do pretty much the same way on any other um, editing software. Um, but again, it's not rocket science. It's not real difficult. A um, couple little pointers. Make sure that you save your raw footage in a couple of different places, not just on your computer, but like I keep mine on a, an external hard drive. Um, and don't be afraid to make mistakes. You know, if you make a mistake, just go back and start it over. Um, it's, it's not that big a deal. If I can do it, anybody can do it. It's not that difficult. There's no reason to be nervous about it or scary, scared of it. It's not super technical. Everybody makes it seem like it's really technical or really difficult to do. It's not. Um, I will be honest, like I said earlier in this video, if, if you have an older um, version of the GoPro, specifically a Hero 3 or Hero 4, I mean, it could be silver or black, doesn't matter, um, using the, the uh, Cine GP10 um, for the GoPro, is the easiest way to do a dual vlog or do a vlog with multiple people because the audio is all captured in one place because it's all captured by your um, helmet communicator. It doesn't have to be center helmet communicators. It can be any brand. Um, I've done it with the those cheap uh, uh, the helmet communicators that I did a review earlier on, the ones that is like 100 bucks for two. Um, and actually, the little video that my girls did for um, the International Women's Ride Day, um, the audio for, for that was all captured using one of those cheap BTS2 um, communicators and through the uh, the Senna GP10 connected to a GoPro. That's the easiest way to do it. And, and I'll be honest, you know, for you can probably pick up uh, a Hero f 3 or 4 on Amazon for 100 bucks at this point. That's the easiest way to do it. Um, but the way that I just showed you is also, also really easy to do. And it's also the same thing you can do. If, if you're wanting to get multiple camera angles. That's how I do my multiple camera angle shots. It's, it's the same thing. Just take your time, have fun with it, and, and good luck. If you have any questions or any comments, leave them down in the comment section here, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Um, if you like what you see, make sure you click that like and subscribe button, and by all means, punch that bell so you get notifications whenever I upload any new content. If you're able to get out on twos, which I'm not today, it's, I'm doing this um, on my handheld uh, digital recorder because it's absolutely pouring down the rain and it's like 40 degrees outside. So not a great day for riding. But if you are able to get out on two, make sure you keep the shiny side up and the rubber side down and have an awesome day. And until next time, see ya.